Safety protocols override active. System failure imminent. Enter command code for access to control module. The business-like retort from the Tapir's onboard system makes it obvious that it warrants immediate attention from her handlers. Command code? I don't have those. I can't even get into the driver's cab. It's locked. What do I do now? Joachim was the toast of the settlement, a wizard at anything mechanical, and the go-to person to get things working again, the proverbial Mr. DIY. Palestine feels like a million miles away. 23 million to be exact. The settlement of this new off-world begin life again. Monica somehow sounds tepid, but it was enough to fuel his need to be free from the confines of Jerusalem. Centuries of tribal violence had finally taken its toll on the community. Hatred, distrust, intolerance of anything Jewish had driven Joachim and many like him away from his ancestral home in Palestine to seek better lands and to begin again. The master alarm with its klaxon blaring was punching through the still air, intersped with alarm, alarm, co-driver critical, cardiac arrest imminent. The urgency had been elevated to another level. He frantically searches the main engineering compartment to locate anything that would enable him to open the cabin. These damn Mac machines, miserable computers. Wait, wait, since this is Mac made, hold on, hold on. There you go, haha. The Mac had always been the offshoot of the UNE, as it should be, as both were products of Earth, the home world. What set them apart was purely ideological. The growth of the Mac was attributed by their need to ensure freedom to pursue what they felt was their right. This need for freedom could be traced back to the 18th century American state's push for independence. It was brutal and numerous lives were lost. The need to survive and the winner-takes-all psyche became the doctrine for survival. The capitalistic overtures from Europe and their doctrine of survival and winner-takes-all further reinforced their character, even to the equipment they developed. Survivability would mean fail-safes and redundancy systems were a must in all their equipment. The Tapir, for example, has remarkably similar feel and build, like the original UNA Tapir, but less finished. Reverse engineering, due to the need to survive, had enabled the Mac to reach for the stars, much to the annoyance of the UNE. This reverse engineering was the cause of multiple trade wars between China and the US in the early 21st century, culminating in the destabilization of the old capitalistic financial markets. Ha! I love these Mac cowboys! Actual manual override with gears and pulleys. Hold on, Ahmed, I'm coming in. Joachim the mechanic squeals in delight as he breaks open the safety glass with a bold red letter, break in case of emergency in the cabin. He begins to turn the lever and soon the smell of fumes began to emanate from the cabin. He reaches out to both hazmat headwear, puts one of himself and rushes in with the other for Ahmed, his friend and co-driver. Shalom, Ahmed, and peace be upon you, brother. He cradles Ahmed in the crook of his arm whilst pulling over the headgear with medkit sensory activated. Through the continuous blare of the klaxon and the annoying speech of these Mac computer systems, Joachim barely makes out faint audible sounds from Ahmed's lips. In Arabic, Command code received. Safety protocol activated. Cabin perch commencing. Welcome driver Ahmed and you too mechanic Joachim. How can I help you? Peace be upon you too, brother Joachim. 